Hi, this is George Ray with the Evolve Academy. This series of videos is going to cover programming Novastar Smart. In this series of videos, we are going to build an offline show. The show will consist of two separate LED screens, a main and a backup sender, and there will be different cabinet types on the same data port on the screens. We're going to use Smart to create show diagrams, including cabinet wiring. The show diagrams will include a custom title and a custom logo. We're going to push the show file, the offline file, to online senders. Actually hook them up to hardware, show you how to do that. And then at the end of the video series, we'll cover some advanced functions in Smart. So to begin with, we need to create an offline show. Here is the smart opening screen. Uh, there's a couple of sections in the screen I want to touch on. First one, little arrow next to the smart version number is a check for updates. So if you are online, smart will go out, check with the Novastar website to determine whether or not you are running the most current version. I'm running 3.5.1. Next up is the recent projects pane. This shows you all the offline and online projects that you've programmed and saved on the computer. Then you have the create new design section where you can create an online or offline design. We're going to create an offline design. When you click create offline design, this screen comes up, which is the new project page. So we're going to break this down into a few different sections to talk about some details. At the top of the page, top of this pane, there's the create new project where you can insert the project name and below that the project path. I'm working on a Windows computer, so the path shown on my screen is a Windows style path. So you know, see users, my name, and it's just going in the documents folder. Um, project name. The only thing to note about this is you cannot use any special characters. If you do use special characters in the project name, this error pops up. Special characters greater than, less than, pound sign, forward slash, backslash, uh, question mark, and quotations. You can't use those in the name. Spaces are fine. Uh, Below the project name is the device selection. It's a drop down menu that shows you all the devices that Smart talks to. It's not important to choose this now because we're going to change it later. Scrolling on down a little bit is the cabinet selection pane or section where you can select what cabinet you're going to use <clears throat> from a uh, group is basically manufacturer and then type what kind of cabinet and how many. This is not critical. We're going to change this later as well. Below that, however, is this source resolution. So this sets the pixel space for the senders. You can't change this anywhere else except in this screen when you're initially setting up your offline show. It sets the active pixel space for all of the senders, even if the pixel space you set if you're doing a complex show with multiple different kinds of senders, if one of them has a smaller pixel space than the other, this sets the pixel space for all of them when you're working offline. This is the only place you can set it and you can't change it afterwards. So this is crucial to set now. Uh, below that is the cabinet connection type. This is also not critical to choose now because we're going to change that later. So after you've verified the important parts, the name, the path where you're saving it, and set the pixel space for your senders, click OK. If you click OK, you get this, which is the Smart Main Edit View. So this is the main editing page in Smart. So now that I've shown you what it looks like, let's go ahead and actually do this. So here is Smart. So this is the actual software. So we're going to click create an offline design and we get that create new project pane. So I'm going to call this project training one. 
saving to the documents folder. Um, device, like I said, doesn't matter. We're going to change that in, a, in the next video. Cabinet selection, doesn't matter. We're going to change that later. Source resolution, this is important. So I'm going to set this to 3840 by 1080 because the senders we're going to be using are R5s. And that's just the pixel space I want to use in the R5. So that's all set. So I click OK. And now we are in the main edit screen in Smart. And to show you what I mean by the pixel space, I'm just going to connect one cabinet really quickly. And if I zoom out on this screen, doo -doo 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 -doo. that rectangle is the pixel space of my sender. So even though I have a 4K sender, because I set it at 3840 by 1080 in that first screen, we have this widescreen rectangle as the setup. We're going to change the senders and change the cabinet selection in the next video. So thank you for joining us for programming in SMART. Uh, next video in the series, we're going to set up multiple senders and we will do cabinets uh, programming. Thank you and have a great day.